The jury's been sent home for the night after starting deliberations this afternoon in the Apple River Stabbings trial in St. Croix County, Wisconsin. 54-year-old Nikolai Mew from Prior Lake is facing numerous charges connected to the stabbings of several people, including a 17-year-old boy who died. Eric Schlue was in court in Hudson for closing arguments and joins us live now. Eric? Yeah, Kevin, the jury deliberated for about four hours this afternoon before headed home. They do have several counts to consider in this trial. Before they got the case handed to them, they heard closing arguments from both sides. Cell phone video captures an encounter between Nikolai Mew and tubers on the Apple River in Somerset, Wisconsin in July 2022. Absolutely senseless and horrific acts of violence. And all Nikolai Mew had to do was walk away. Prosecutors say Mew came upon some teens, rushed their tubes as the boys yelled at him. That's when women from a different group heard the commotion. Prosecutors say the women yelled for Mew to leave. He had a knife in his hands and then struck one of the women. The video then shows Mew was pushed. Lawyer Corey Trofsky says Mew feared for his life. It's coming from all sides and from multiple people. And this man who had heart surgery is terrified. Drafsi says Mew had nowhere to go. They push him, they slap him, they hit him again, they choke him from all directions. And Nick Mew <laughs> acts in self-defense. 17-year-old Isaac Schumann was fatally stabbed. Prosecutors say he was trying to push Mew away. The defense says Schumann put his hands on Mew. Four other adults were also stabbed, investigators say, by Mew. During closing arguments, prosecutors say Mew, in their words, lied to investigators, including when he spoke to the sheriff downstream. You didn't see anybody injured? No. Did you see anybody fighting? I heard people screaming at each other, yes. The defense says Mew was in shock afterwards. Prosecutors disagree with that view. Because he wanted to come up with a story that he thought would be sufficient to convince people that he acted in self-defense. We know he lied about all of it. The jury returns at 8 o'clock in the morning to continue their deliberations. Before they left for the day, they did tell the judge in the morning they'd like to see some more of that video. We'll be here to let you know it plays out. We're live in Hudson tonight. Eric Schlue, 5 Eyewitness News.